Welcome to Indigo Prophecy. This is a uh, Quantic Dreams game uh, made by David Cage, which, uh, ooh, not, ooh, I know, I know, I know, I'm not, a. Uh, uh, uh. but um, these games are so fucking goofy and they're so, I don't know, it's almost like the longer you play them, the more you can tell like, oh, hey. I think the same guy made all these. Sorry, I needed to fix the audio. I don't. All right. But yeah, the long yeah, the longer you look at them, you'll be like, oh god, uh, this shit. This is definitely made by the same dude, and he's a little, he's a little uh, off the deep end, a little weird, a little strange. I'll be honest. But um, uh, like I said, very goofy. Very much products of their time, very unique, I would say. But let's let's just all remember one thing, right? Okay, David Cage. While eh, there was a lot of people that worked on this game, and uh, you know, back whenever it came out, I'm just saying, I I can't think of anything else like this. I know that before this, he had done like Omicron, which is a fucking nightmare. And you know, if I ever get a Dreamcast and a copy of Om well actually I don't even think you can play the Dreamcast version of Omicron I don't think you can beat it is that wrong I think that might be re I think that's right I don't think you can beat Omicron anyway I'm stalling uh this is definitely oh man I forgot there was a tutorial oh my god you're about to see ridiculous shit so um yeah, I'm I, I'm just gonna play through some of these movie games whenever mainly to stall for time whenever I haven't uh quite finished setting up a new game to play through or figured out exactly how I'm gonna do it. And so I'm gonna use this uh to fall back these to fall back on. Oh my god, it's him. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. Okay. I'd like you to meet my friend Bob. You'll be controlling him while you're learning. Oh Let's God! Something simple. Hi, Bob. The mark on the floor. Oh, I'm Bob. Okay, that's awful. Perfect. Oh shit! I can run too. To God. Be. You're also going to have to be able to observe your environment. Can we? Do so is, is this is the uh, the on, fact that start. this man is sitting here right now, fucking talking to me David fucking Cage is in here trying to tell me how to dude he had he self inserted he self inserted yeah I can look around yeah I what what the fuck is up what but you what just looking around you in indigo prophecy you also oh my have god to with your environment go to the door Okay, I'll go to the door. This looks like the bad HD version of Silent the Hill. Top of the screen? It indicates the movement you have to make to execute the action. Oh. To really feel you're controlling your characters. That's cool. Not That's you know cool. How to move about. Use the cameras and that wasn't cool. The environment. We can move on to more serious stuff. Indigo Prophecy has action sequences where your character so, life will be in danger. I'd better explain this to you before you find yourself on your own. Okay, okay, David Cage, I don't care. I'm just, I'm more, um, interested. So, essentially, if I walk it, okay, see, so look, okay, camera movement, camera movement, right? I have camera control. If I come over here, I'm shitted on. And I'm, I can almost guarantee you that that's going to cause me problems at some point. Although, L and R are, uh, you know, you can move the camera with those two, I guess. So, there's always that. But at that point, it's like, why would you even make this a, a camera? What is happening here? When this symbol appears at the top of the screen, oh god, your character is gonna have to make a physical effort. You'll a see, physical effort. Too. Also, I can I just say I'm very glad that they got rid of this. I, I'm sure that they have different meters in the other games, but like this one, explicitly, is kind hey, of not bad. ugly. Now for something a bit more difficult. It's very PS2 esque, which isn't a bad thing usually, but. It to be inserted into this type of game very eh, you know what I mean it's like the whole feel of it is supposed to be closer to like a movie it's not supposed to be like uh, 
I don't know. It just feels too video gamey when you ever you try to. Well, I guess there's a lot of parts okay, of this that are like video gamey, but like also not. I don't know. It doesn't feel like that's what he was going for. Let's give it a try. So wait, I'm gonna tell everyone to go fuck themselves. Not really, but I would. Let's. Oh yeah, Bob is sexy. Did you hear that? Right. I see you've got the hang of the dialogues. In Indigo Prophecy, you'll only have a limited amount of time to make up your mind. So you'd better think fast. I just want to say, how telling is it that in the tutorial, you have two options of how to describe this, um, this man. You have, um, cool or sexy. Take care of your character. There was an A gives me, uh, scary... Uh, oh, fucking, uh, Indigo prophecy, you'll be able oh god, how did I forget the name the of that thing? Be careful. Your every action will have you know, it's a thing where things look like humans, but they're not human. It's too close. The uncanny valley. Why wasn't there an uncanny valley option on, like, the left or the right? There are still lots of things to discover, but I'll leave you the surprise of finding them for yourself. Now it's up to you to play. And be careful. You're entering a world where anything can happen. How long do you think that he made them work on that model of him? How long do you think he was like, no, I have to, it has to be perfect. It needs to be perfect. Please. It must be. Also, I think I'm going to have to mute this at certain points because uh, I believe that this game features music from um, the band Theory of a Dead Man. Never quite what they seem. We think we understand which the world if that starts us, playing I'm gonna have to outside, take action what it seems to be I used to be just like you I believed in humanity the newspapers soap commercials politics and history books but one day the world kicks you in the teeth and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are my name is Lucas Kane my story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Okay, buddy. You totally don't sound crazy. I think this guy might be losing it. Oh, hey, look, it's Max Payne all over again. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. That sucks, man. Poor bastards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if I hear that shit, I'm gonna have to turn it down immediately. Damn. Sure the fuck enough. Damn, what the hell's hap- Oh, dude. Oh, wait. Why Why am I in the toilet already? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Don't do it, man. What are you thinking? I wouldn't do that. Come on, now. Oh god, why are there candles and shit everywhere? What the fuck is happening, dude? This is just the intro to the Da Vinci Code. Hang on. I've seen this. You can't fool me. What's by my ear?
So I guess, uh, you know, if I'm going to read this imagery right, we've been possessed. Oh, shit. Sometimes my arm's been backwards. Sometimes my... Oh. Hi. Can I help you? Fuck off. Can't you say I'm, on a, I'm having a moment, ma'am? Oh, God. Never mind. I'm out of my moment. Oh, no. The bird saw. Kill the bird. Kill the bird. He's going to tell on you, dude. I done? Oh, shit. Really? He's only depressed? Mine would have gone all the way down. I would have freaked out. I, the idea I, of killing another human really fucks me up. I'm not going to lie. To be fair, I was possessed. Maybe I'd think differently if I was like, I fool, I'm possessed. Dude, this is bullshit. But like, I also don't know how you would prove that. Oh my god. Quick. I I I've, I've got to get out of here but before somebody comes in here. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, but first, no, we I'm dragging this. Okay, so this is going to make a mess regardless. I'm moving this body first. I don't know where he's going to move it. It looks like he's already got a plan for that. And then after, I've got to like I got to mop that shit up for sure. Mop, mop, mop. No, did I choose that? It's barred up. I can't get out this way. I did not. Okay, sorry. Oh my god, I didn't mean to look out the window. I could have fucking told you that. Mop that shit. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing right now? Okay, yeah, I guess so. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I can't use the mop anymore. What? It's still there. I see it still. It's, like, leaking out. Do you see that shit? What in the fuck is happening? The knife. That's a knife. I've got to get rid of it. Yeah, okay. Where do you... Oh, my God. It's cutting back to them again. Okay, where do I put the knife? 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 I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. He put it up his butt or something. I don't know what he did with it. Because it's gone now. That was actually kind of incredible. What's in here? Is it condom? Empty. Damn, no condoms. Not a condom in sight. Shit. Out of order. Oops, I'm stupid. Hurry up and wash off, man. We gotta get the fuck out of here. We gotta go, man. We gotta go. Oh, that actually has so much bacteria on it. This is not helping your hands get clean. And you're sure that we can't do anything about this? with the knife both of my forearms are cut too okay uh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to make you panic about that uh oh uh oh uh oh is he coming in here okay well I guess I'm gonna leave oh shit howdy officer I've got to go. Oh, uh oh. Okay, he's stuck in the wall. This is not my fault, by the way. Shit. Shit. Why was I still there? A crime has just been committed. Oh, I'm still here. I you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Oh, I'm and fucked. That's how my story ends. What? Oh my god. I tried leaving too and he went boom. Oh, I fucking hate this game, dude, already. This is stupid. I swear I walked over here last time and it wouldn't let me exit. Okay, well, it let me exit this time, guys. Remember whenever I walked down, I tried to exit before and it wouldn't let me? It, uh, for some reason, it, it let me this time. Also, oh, look, I had a bill. Hey, right, well then pay the money, man.
Alright. Y'all have a good one. Bye bye. Oh, okay. Out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Just normally walk. I have no idea which way I'm supposed to be going, by the way. Oh, but I see a fucking subway system over here. Which is the exact place I'm going, because fuck that. So, uh, I mean, yeah, no. There's a lot of people in the subway, especially if it's snowing like this right now. There's no way that they're finding him. Shut up, man. You didn't see nothing. Oh, he's missing an eye. Maybe he did see something. Oh. He smiled like he did. Oh, shit. And there he is. This is how it's supposed to play out. I don't know Nobody what the fuck happened anywhere. last time. That was a little bunk. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. And if we refuse? It's weird. The loading screens kind of look like some Lord of the Rings shit or something. Whoa, what a cool car. Look, he's got frosted donuts for wheels. Incredible. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. What do you mean? They're not killing you. That way I don't have to freeze to They're killing other people. <laughs> You're the boss, Carl. And here I am. Can I switch? Oh, I can first person view. Holy shit. Okay, well I didn't know that shit until just now. Can I walk with this? I can't. I'm stressed. And cold, I guess. Five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But uh -oh. you don't really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. Not to mention, man, he died in the bathroom. That sucks. Cold or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. She looks pissed off. She looked angry. Hi, Tyler. No more talking? Okay, whatever. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Well, some dude fucking Elvis out there in the bathroom, bro. I don't know what the fuck happened, but he's bleeding out of his fucking brain. Who is he? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's coffee is the best in the East End. That really wasn't important. Uh, what about the victim? Because we know about them. John Winston. Oh, what a normal name. Restaurant. Kate John. John uh -oh. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before Ooh. I found the body. Uh, yeah, how's the waitress? Her? Yeah, we should talk to yeah, her. Kate she knew him. I She'd know if anyone wanted to kill him. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. No, I'm gonna scream at her. At? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. Oh, man. Make sure she gets home okay. Oh, you and Kate, huh? You think he'll uh, say anything different to... Oh, wait. What is this? Is this just what he thinks? No, go back. I didn't get it. What's up, man? That can hey, I get a coffee? You know where I can find some coffee? The machine's behind the bar. Just go help yourself. Martin, you are the man. Oh my God! I never even knew about this. Hell yeah, I'm getting coffee. Incredible. Oh, 
Oh my god, he chugged it, dude. It was so hot. More coffee for the soul. Thank God. All right, I'm gonna send him to go talk to her because um, no offense, but Tyler seems nicer. He's very chilled and relaxed. Take your statement soon, ma'am. It shouldn't take too long. Oh, never mind. Thanks. What, what about you guys? What have you been doing? Pretty funny seeing you on the job at this hour, Tyler. What you You're telling me. Dead? Yeah, don't make me laugh, Garrett. My lips are chapped. Oh. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. Why does he feel good about that? If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's zombie city. Uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. Yeah, this film grain shit is infuriating. Mm. Oh yeah. They got dialogue together. Oh, he's just thinking out loud. Oh my god, his his smile. Why'd he do that? Did you find anything, Tyler? Well, that I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. All right, I guess we gotta go take her statement as uh her instead. Get her out of here sooner than later, I guess. Kate, I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering? My shirt is very red. No, go ahead. No, it's not. I can't see colors. Are you okay? You good? Long, Kate. It'll be eleven years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place, down and out as junkies, you name it. Never a dead dude, though. Been robbed a few times, but murder. Oh no. That's a new one. God, poor Johnny was such a nice guy. Oh no. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. I was going to say, judging by the fact that the nice our suspect is still called the suspect. Um, what was the man doing before the murder happened? He, was there he doesn't know much while. about him. He or she doesn't know much about him, I mean. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. Average height. That's all I can remember. Average age. Average hair. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. Oh. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job. The weather. The usual stuff. Yeah, New York. Fuck yeah. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? Yeah, I'm trying to stay away from questions just about no. the suspect because she doesn't fucking know and that's not her job. I'm a fucking officer. I need to find out. Had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk oh. to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Huh. Anything before? before the murder, yeah, it's just normal? Unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Didn't hear nothing? While John was in the toilets, sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with. I feel like she already told us what she saw. Why the fuck are we asking her again? Jesus. Oh, cheer up. Try to be strong, Kate. Yeah, you don't, I don't insist. A shot for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. Yeah, you gotta cheer up. You gotta be nice to her. Shift was almost over. I was just chatting with. You can't be an asshole to her. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have. He's just back there on his phone. I don't know if you see him. Tyler just sitting back there, fucking scrolling Twitter right now. That son of a bitch. What happened next? He's following the latest Twitch drama right now on his phone. And. That's when you found oh, well, scarce poster, new video, guys. Sorry, what was she saying? 
Uh, did John did act bizarre at all? Yeah, how would she know if the suspect was b being bizarre? Stressed out. No. He was just like he always is. He even made a joke when he came in. Oh. So this dude just really straight up didn't know nothing. Suspect. I'll never forget that face. I thought that she said that she didn't remember him. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Probably. Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. She said she went in and started swinging her neck around. That was crazy. Like that just don't deserve to live. Oh my god. I, I was possessed. We'll do everything in our power to find him. I was distraught. Get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Thank you, Mr. Other Officer. Said that old lady. That's fucking weird. Good night. Back when cops were uh oh no. What the fuck is that outside? There's, there's just a car standing over there hey, guys. casually. Hey Frank, how's it going? Hey Carla. Hey Carla. So, you guys find anything? How come for her they're individuals? I mean they're they're like they're one, but for Tyler they're like two separate okay, people. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's, yeah, we'll take a look right after I uh, get a sip of this coffee. Hell yeah. Thanks for the coffee, Tyler. Delicious. More stressed because now she has to poop also. I'm not hitting that jukebox, by the way, because I had a fear of what will play. I think Tyler deserves this. Eat it, Tyler. Eat it. Steak and fries. Get it, Tyler. Looks like he barely touched his food. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, I thought he was gonna eat it because he was like tired. Martin says this was the guy's table. I thought he was gonna be like, damn, I haven't had dinner in like four nights. I'm doing it. I'm going in on it. Coffee's not on the bill. Oh. All right, does she need to come have a look at it as well? Perhaps. Huh. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? What? Oh. Oh. Oh, she just noticed something. Is she going to drink that old coffee, that, that coffee stinky coffee? A soft drink? That's weird. That is weird. No it's one, wait, a soft drink. Or else he wasn't alone. I'm a caffeine addict. Oh, hey, a book. A book. It's his sweet nothings. Shakespeare. Take it. Take it with us. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Gary, You're weird. There's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out? Hits her place? head standing up. You got it, Carla. Yo, did you notice that there was like, um... Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. Never mind. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but... He's a good guy. That's good. Come on, let's go, Carla. I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. I want to take another look around. I was about to say, I was like, I hope it doesn't kick us out. I didn't mean to do that. Somewhere. I did not mean to do that. All right. I'm gonna send her into the bathroom. Oh, never mind. I guess they both go in at the same time. Whatever. <laughs> Can I clean it? No, I guess there's gonna be blood in the mop, huh? Yeah. Killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Quick thinking, man. I had to buy myself some time. Anything over here? Nada? Nothing? No oh yeah. Struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Looks like he was pooping when he got stabbed. I don't know. On the left side of the chest. In the area of the heart. Ooh. Appear to be knife wounds. Jesus. How the fuck did I know? 
Sure, Tyler. Go take a piss while your partner's in the room next to you. Tyler? What? This is a restroom, isn't it? It's no, a crime scene. This is a crime scene. It's cool. I'm done. Let's see all that coffee I've been drinking. Oh, my time. God. Oh, uh, it fucked up Carla. She's upset now. That's funny. Well, I mean, he's got to wash his hands. He just peed. Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Oh, well, never mind. The killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. What does he see if he looks in the mirror? Incredible. Honestly, his shirt's looking nice. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh. Oh, shit. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Gross. I just wanted to see if there's any significance at all to me turning it on. Not even a little. Oh. Well, that's something. No, never mind. He doesn't even notice it. He's fucking blind. All right, Tyler, you tried. I guess let's let uh let's let Carla do the job now. Even though you fucking stressed her out. Tyler, he like walk right by it. Tyler, you were just in here. You didn't say shit. Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it, and we'll know for sure. Yeah, I'm thinking it. It belongs to the suspect. Also, what the fuck is this? Is this a little... There's a little vent in here? You ever consider a career in plumbing, Carla? You ever consider a career in comedy, Tyler? Hey, everybody says I'm a very funny guy. Weird. Where would the knife be? Tyler already put his hand in there. Some dude in the toilet? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. I still haven't found the murder weapon. However, I think I've looked everywhere that I can look in here. The only thing that I can think of now is that window. Yeah, that already put it in the condom machine. Never mind, I can't check. I'm gonna go out back and check real quick. Let's go check, uh... Hey, Carla, I'm gonna take a look outside, see if I can find anything. Yeah, what he said. Oh! Well, 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 look at this. This is the window from the toilets in the restaurant. Damn it, I don't see a knife, though. What the fuck? Where's the murder weapon at? I'm so confused. I'm literally actually baffled. Oh, shit, it's the one-eyed guy. Did you see some shit? I know you saw some shit. See anything? You didn't happen to see anything unusual tonight, did you? Ah, leave me alone. I got nothing to say. I don't talk to cops. <laughs> right, thank you. You've been... Lovely. What an asshole. What did he do with the murder weapon? Oh. Man, that's all I needed. Door doesn't open from the outside. Just let Tyler in. Is that you making all that noise? Yeah, I make a lot of noise when I'm freezing to death. I was about to say when I'm freezing my shit off. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Uh, it doesn't close. Oh, and it just closes behind her anyway. I just wanted to make sure because Tyler didn't see the blood on the floor either. Shit, maybe he'll talk to me. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> oh, what God. Can I do for you? Go 
old enough for you? Yeah, well, luckily I got this. Oh, of course, the alcohol to dehydrate you. What a little splash. <laughs> My name is Carla Valenti. And you? I'm just going to talk to him. What's your name? My name. <laughs> What the hell is my name? Nobody uses it anymore. Guess I just forgot it. <laughs> Booger? Bogart? Oh, what is that? Yes. Uh, my friends call me Bogart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Must be because I look so much like that actor fella. <laughs> the fuck? Okay. I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. For real, it's freezing out here, man. Talk to him again. What the hell? I swear to God, these people. I mean, to be fair, I guess I'm being kind of not the best investigator. I don't know why. For some reason, I thought that maybe Tyler would be like, oh, I'll prop it open for her. Did not. So, Sherlock stuck outside? Leave oh. me alone, Tyler. Whoa. She don't gotta be like that. Alright. There's one more place that I'm assuming that it could be in. Come in and the, the officers are just taking a shit. Is there really nothing else that I can... This You're fucking kidding me. Well, I found it, guys. Yeah, I know. It's in the back of this fucking toilet. You had to come in here and use the use bathroom button. I wish it, w it should have been like... Unless there's a gang running around oh, that pisses me off. That pisses me off a lot. That was fucking stupid. Great. That's got to be the worst one to get to, right? Because I looked everywhere else. It could have been out the window. It could have been... um in the drain over there to the right or obviously it could be back there but look this is the only one where it's like oh that looks like i'm just gonna use the bathroom like whenever i peed earlier and fucking upset carla and then it's like oh yeah just do that again just go take a shit this time don't piss take a shit next to her that'll make her feel way better no i'm not gonna do that it already showed me that it made her fucking str that's stupid that was dumb as hell i gotta be honest hey garrett Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Dumb as hell. Don't worry. I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was going to keep us up a little longer. You're goddamn right. I got a feeling that this is bullshit. Alright, Carla, can we leave? You ready to go, Tyler? Yes, I've been ready. I this is dumb. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. Fuck that, we're leaving. Well, we're good. Fuck this place. Let's okay, let's bust. Cool. Carla agrees to go. Let's get into the car before she changes her mind. Fucking seriously, dude. Jeez Louise, that shit sucked. Like Christ. I'm out of here. This place sucks. Kept me too long. Leaves without her. Bye bye. Damn, that is a cool ass car, though. Look at my donut wheels. Oh my god, there's a bird. Uh oh. What the fuck? Oh! Oh! We're seeing it again, but this time in negative! Oh, why was his face already fucking bleeding? He was already bleeding, it wasn't my fault. Oh! Lucas, you little scared bastard. It was all just a horrible nightmare. No, you killed that guy. No, you did. Look at your arms. You totally still killed someone. 
Must be nice to think that, huh? I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Remember, kids, don't do drugs. Them shits is scary.